What's up guys, so the last video got way more traction than I was expecting. It has like 600 comments and like 1.4k views. And uh, atheists were not very happy with it, they did not like it very much. So we're going to respond to some of these comments because it would be a lot easier than having a reply war with a lot of these guys. Because... That's, uh, that's what some people have been doing and it hasn't been very productive. So we're just going to reply to a few of them and give you guys a bit of a sample size of the kind of arguments that we had to deal with. And the backlash that we got with that last video. And I'm joined by... What's up, guys? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You know who it is. Uh, we had to join up to respond to a lot of these atheist um comments because i it was like the comment wars were getting so bad i started to respond to comments as well because some of these atheists were rather infuriating and intellectually dishonest yep and they were so in two primary ways mm -hmm. the first way is that they did not give an argument they just complained i don't need your complaining like saying the video is terrible this is painful to listen to um you know you have nothing kid like th this is this is not an argument if you're not willing to give an argument then what are you doing in my comments okay Real. the second the second primary way they were intellectually dishonest is that they <laughs> what they did is like what what they would do is their arguments would be <laughs> The arguments would be freaking terrible. What they would do is they would either have double standards, so they would say something and then like uh, a bunch of other things, or they would completely straw man and not read and not listen either. So, like, what, and not listen. Yeah, they would. They would not read. They would misrepresent what we, um, what we do. So, yeah, yeah, and they misrepresented you. I think a like, bunch. They misrepresented a bunch represented you yeah they did oh oh and uh, another way they were intellectually dishonest is by making claims and then when asked when asked for evidence they say oh i don't have to give evidence or like uh, something like that they would make claims without and evidence. then they said that anyway um, they don't have to prove anything yeah now we're not going to respond yeah. to all of the comments that's just not possible on a small video like this but we're just gonna give yeah. you a sample size of what we had to deal with and the kind of things that basically we atheist cope in the comments. It's it's what it is. Yeah, it was pretty bad too. Now yeah. speech mode talk. Make sure uh, that everything started. is started. 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 Yep. Heading level 3, link at the Verajaga channel 8654. Link your argument is the puddle argument. It's not convincing. So. What the hell is the puddle argument? The, that's what they're saying fine tuning is. How, how is it the puddle argument? I don't, I don't know. What does that even mean? I, I thought that was like a counter, I thought that was like a counter analogy to the fine tuning argument. Some kind of like puddle thing. I don't, I don't think these guys know what they're oh, talking about. Oh, yeah, that, that, that makes absolutely no sense. And that has nothing to do with fine-tuning. But No, it doesn't. Okay. okay. At Lanning, Matt's argument, either God doesn't exist or doesn't want me to know he exists yet. Lang, you, Matt's wrong because if you don't believe in God, God doesn't want you to know he is there. That's, the, that's not what I said. The only problem is that I didn't say that. Lang, seriously, your brain is broken. That was the second half of his point, ellipsis. So that, that is a lot of the main criticism I'm getting for this video is that I'm basically making Matt's second point, and I did not do that. Me saying God isn't going to show you that he exists because you're not going to follow him, so what's the point? Doesn't mean God doesn't want you to know he exists. That's not what it means. Button collapse. How do you tell the difference between a God who doesn't want to violate your free will and one that doesn't exist? How do you tell the difference between a god who doesn't want to vi uh, violate your free will or doesn't exist? So this is the double standard of atheist polemics, right? So they call God a tyrant um, or something like that. 
Uh, they would call God a tyrant. They would call God a dictator. But, but when we when we say no, God gives us free will. He doesn't want to violate our free will because then he actually would be a tyrant and a dictator. You say, oh well, that's just an ex- that's just that just means he doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay. Well, I... that's a double standard. Okay, that, that that's that's a huge double standard. Either he's a tyrant because he you don't have free will. It makes absolutely no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. Like it, it's it's such a double standard. These guys are so inconsistent when it comes to their methodology. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. At Rolling, you said Matt presented a false dichotomy, but then your third option is basically the same as what Matt said that God didn't want him to know about God. Matt doesn't despise God or denounced. Yes, he does. And he has simply not found any evidence of God's existence. He does despise some of the things in the Bible and some of the things Christians do in the name of God. But your third option is pretty much the same as one of Matt's options, which is that God doesn't want Matt to know he exists. No, that's not at all the same. But at Julink, it's not really free will if the consequence of making the wrong decision is an eternity of torture and punishment in hell. So number one... Um, that has nothing to do with free will. That has nothing to do with free will. Number two, that is a misrepresentation of hell and Christian theology because you're responding to me when you say that. And my theology is Christian theology. That's not what hell even is. It's separation from God because you want to be separated from God. If you want to respond to me, I'd be happy to entertain you. But that has nothing to do with free will or not. So, like, nothing... Do you guys see the double standards? Nothing that theists can say is good enough or or immoral for them, which is funny because they can't even like and these, define and morality. These claim, they can't. These guys claim to follow reason and rationality and logic. Yeah, but then it, like when we say hell is just a separation from God, they say what kind of creator separates his creation from himself? When we say hell is torture. They, um, or when someone else says that, because we don't say that, they say, oh, how, how could he do that? Um, when we say that heaven is an eternity with the creator, how could the creator force you to be with him forever? Bro, be consistent. Find something and, and actually, like, learn how to, how to be consistent, please. And learn how to Click at Link, this argument is garbage, and here is why. Okay, why? Matt, evidence. Matt was a devout Christian who was on his way to become a minister until he tasked himself to find evidence for God so that he could use it to convert people to his faith. As hard as he looked for evidence, he found none, and in doing so realized he could no longer justify his own faith. What so you are absolutely wrong, given argument? that Matt was deliberately looking evidence from the position of faith who cannot say that he had chosen to ignore God. Too bad, but not surprising as there are zero credible reasons to believe in God and all religious arguments are total garbage. There are zero credible reasons to to believe in God. Tell that to like the scientists that did a lot more than who you, you worship. Yeah, who you worship. Tell them that and see what what kind of stuff you get. But um, no, that's not evidence at all against me, like at all, because it's just not. That has nothing to do with anything. But that has nothing to do with the argument. At John Link, bet this isn't going to go how he wanted it to go. Clickable. What the hell does that mean? What does that mean? What do you think I wanted? At put Link, what if he just knows that there's nothing that would change your mind? So describing there who can create the universe but can't change one ape's mind. Click. See, this is what you guys need. Double standard once again. Double if standard. he does that, he's called a tyrant. If he does that, if he does that, oh, he can create the universe, but he can't. He can't change my mind, so I believe in him. If he does, that means he he would violate your free will, and then and then you'd be mad. He, then you would. Then you would be. He would. He would be considered a tyrant. Which one is it? I don't know which one you guys want to freaking. Go That's with. neither do you. Clickable neither. I do, this. So my title was Matt Dillahunty doesn't understand God, and this guy says neither. Do you and I said in the replies, I don't understand God, and he goes, Yeah, you don't. And that, that's really all that came out of that. At bother at your top. So nothing. Really? Link four days of your third yeah, option is just Matt's wow. second option. Click up. No, it's not. Again, no, it's not. At Rally, call into the show, bud. Call into the show. Click. Okay, so I heard that a lot of people want us to call into the show. Does does Matt act like 
the uh, same way he does because like I heard like he uh, hangs up hangs up on people and yes uh, he does I heard he does too. I mean, this, this, this I, is I've the guy that's clips too, where he off from people. a debate, so, you know, I, I don't I mean, really if he can storm off of in, of like, He can storm off uh, of debates yeah, in if person. If he storm off a physical debate, what the heck? Man, that he, he, that he paid for, gonna... too. He paid to fly over there. What an idiot. And then he stormed off. Why? He left. His husband was called a man or something like that? Yeah, his husband was called a man. He didn't like it. Oh. At Valdon Link, this is a joke, right? Somebody please tell me yes. Blank, I might be wrong, but I don't think he ever claimed to understand any god, regardless of what you think he missed out. He still hasn't been provided sufficient evidence to warrant belief. Are you really saying God wouldn't prove himself to Matt because he Matt found it? Really saying God wouldn't prove himself to Matt because he Matt has sought evidence and not found it? To Matt's point, God must really not want him to know of his existence. Uh, no. No, that's not what I said. That's uh, not at all no. what I said. What video are you watching? What are you... Yeah, for real. Blank, but question, do you claim to understand God? No, I don't. That would be kind of blasphemy. I don't understand every so single thing that he does. we don't claim to understand does. God's modality. We don't claim to understand... We understand what who God is. We understand, to a certain extent, God's attributes, because as he reveals them in Scripture... We do not understand modality of God, but the thing is that Matt is, is trying to argue against God by saying, oh, well, you know, God doesn't want me to know he exists or he doesn't exist. But he doesn't understand. Right, that and that's a fundamental stuff. misunderstanding of Respecting a bunch of will. stuff. That, that is a so, fundamental res uh, misunderstanding of God's attributes. So and that's God's where attributes. the title Matt modality. doesn't understand God comes from. That's where it comes from. It doesn't mean that I claim I understand him completely. No, I don't understand every single thing he does. I can't. You can't think that a finite mind is going to be able to understand an infinite mind. It doesn't work that way. I'm just saying that he doesn't understand simple concepts. Button. That's it. At Ronda Link, you get crushed by Matt Dillahunty. Oh, no, I don't think so. If this is the kind of stuff he's no, saying, I, uh, no, I don't think I would. No, I, I, I would just have to call his husband a man, and he would just get pissed and cry on his show about how he was a transphobe bigot, and I would just laugh, and he would cry. You know, I can already, I can already picture the title. Oh, transphobe, obliterated. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that willing free will isn't free of exercising. It means we end up in hell for all eternity. You say that, God would not try to convince anyone to believe in his existence, yet he also invokes the harshest punishment imaginable if you don't. It's such an obvious scam. So, you're telling me separation from God because you want to be separated from God is unfair? It's not even that. What's unfair we about never it? Said, wait, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. We never said that God does not leave evidence of his existence. We never said that. What we said is atheists like Matt, they are going to continuously ask for some something that they, they don't even know what will change their like it's very possible that even if God was to bend over backwards for them, then they still wouldn't worship him. What would be the point of that? Oh atheists say, oh well he could just you know make him want to worship him. That's called that's called you would you would have a problem with that. Okay. Yeah, you'd, you'd have, have a problem, problem with, that. with that and call that tyrannical. You have free will to do what you want in this world, okay? When you do things that are not good and you get um, and you get away scot free, well then in the next life that's on you. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you, you guys care so much about what he does because world. And why do you even why why do you care so much about hell you don't believe in it you don't even believe in hell you don't you, morality is a total fiction to you why do you care even if he is morality a tyrant why do you yeah, care morality, yeah. why do you care what so, he does like what where does your morality come from what what is morality how can you even define that care? like okay why do i care what you think about morality like Click a punishment what imaginable what you if you don't. it's such an obvious by the way this whole oh how do you think that's fair to be punished for your free will um 
I don't think it's unfair because you're criticizing the Christian hell again. And I don't think it's unfair to be separated from God if that's what you wanted. Like, there's nothing unfair about that. That's no violation of free will. Actually, it's respecting it. Link five days ago. A, your response didn't actually add a third option. You basically just said that God chose not to. Present Matt with the evidence he needed, which is the first option. You just justified it by pretending you know how Matt would have reacted if he had had the evidence. Ironically, you treat. He knows himself how he would have reacted, and he's basically... He knows how he would react. <laughs> he knows. He says that God's, like, horrible, evil, tyrannical. I can't believe hell exists. Why would God make such a thing? Come on, it's really obvious to pick up how he would... React. Matt's attitude towards God is combative no matter what, as if it is deterministic, and do it by appealing to free will somehow, what a mess. B, the Arthur C. Clarke quote is relevant because believers constantly appeal to the miraculous as evidence of the supernatural, and that is a fallacious argument. Well, we um, did not. I did not. Dude, what do what you guys do you want? Appeal to you don't me? like appeal what? to the supernatural, you don't like appeal to miracles, and you don't like appeal to the natural world either? You don't like fine-tuning? What Who do you like? Who appealed to miracles in this in this case? We didn't. I didn't. Because he says the the cloak the quote is relevant because believers do it all the time. Okay. Well, um, if what what miracle that we like? If I said God exists because this happened and we have no evidence of it happening, then yeah, that um, that's yeah, yeah. sure. Sure, but that's not what we sure, even said. Sure, but that's not what we even said. That's not my position. It's not mine. It's not the Islamic position. I've stated my position. I didn't say, oh, I believe in God because there has been miracles and the Quran says so. No, my argument is that there is a miracle we have and we can analyze it. That has nothing to do with... Uh, and, and you don't want appeals to, to, to uh, natural because you don't like that. You don't want logic because you don't like that. What do you want? You don't like, like this it. Is the, main See, the argument that I from design is most definitely a god of the gaps argument. The gap being the assumed impossibility of nature existing as it does without someone willing it so. Button collapsed three more. Because that's. Do you understand because how much of a leap of faith impossible. that is? Do you understand why I make that argument? By the way, no, it's not. A, this is another criticism I got. They're saying yeah. that the like last minute or so where I said you guys. Accuses of God of the gaps, but fine tuning is not is one because oh you're saying uh, we don't know what caused it therefore God no that's not what I said what I said this is the difference between God of the gaps and what I actually said is the best explanation for this the one that makes the most sense and is the most logical and is in a leap of faith is that there's a designer with that argument. That's not a god of the gaps. It's just Atheists following have the more evidence. Faith than they do. At the link, you sound exactly how I they thought believe. you would. Graphic face with tears of joy. Clickable top. Uh, okay. What does this. Uh, sure. If you believe nothing magically turns into something and you want to call us to people who believe in fairy tales? Yeah, I did see a comment. If you believe that nothing can turn into absolutely everything, you're the biggest fairy tale believer in history. <laughs> At the family, what is typical atheist reasoning? You have a book with talking animals. What other book do you hold to be true that has talking animals in it? I mean, a lot of you guys hold books that talk about how we can create classless, moneyless societies uh, as true and ideologies that work. So, um, what does that matter? What does this have to That's do? A, do you want to call that a fairy tale? That's a fairy tale. That what is what kind of argument is this? And also, typical atheist reasoning wasn't even meant to be disparaging. Like a, it was just means common reasoning that atheists use. Like, why are you so mad about that? At the link, so he was right. Yet is the key word. Click. No, no, he was not right. At the link, by yes. atheist reasoning, you mean actual reasoning predicated on scientific methodology, logic, and for by atheist rationality. Hey, no. Hey, hey, I have a question for you. How do you account for either of those things? On your worldview. Oh, it's, it's just good because it, it is. Just, it's just a thing? Well, yeah, yeah obviously it's a thing, it, but how? It just... No, no, it just exists and I just choose to use it because why not? Well, obviously, but where? Where did it come from? Oh, we can't answer oh, that. Oh, oh, it, it came from... Um, it came from this one land. And it was a faraway land. And there was this one time where... 
um, this guy just said, you know, what if I started thinking about like the world? And then he passed it on to his children, and that's how we have logic and scientific methodology and rationality. <laughs> yeah, right. Fairy tale believer. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you that you don't believe in any of the thousands of other nonsense religions in the world. No, I don't. What does that have to do with, with anything? Like, at all. Please. Like, it's it by the same methodologies that you guys use, we use logic and rationality to limit down the choices of but the we, we, we account we have, a, we have something to account that those things under, though. That's right. Yeah, and we can actually show... How are those things even came into being, and you can't? Link, what yeah, kind of all powerful can't. God can possibly change Matt's mind about its existence? So God would have basically no problem convincing me or Matt. Blank. But you wouldn't want to follow that God, so what's the point? I love the claim that they accuse us of using the God of the Gaps, but we don't. Here's an example, and then you use an example that isn't the God of the Gaps argument. Yeah, duh, you don't. Always use God of the Gaps, but it's happened so damn often. How did the universe begin without a God? Is like the number one argument I hear. But that's not a God of the Gaps either. Then respond to it. That's not a God of the Gaps either, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. At, At least that guy's smart enough to know that that wasn't Gaps. Link flame argument. You aren't ready to fight with the big boys. Clickable toggle button. Not I'm not. The you call Matt. You call ready. Matt a big boy, bro? Didn't he storm off raging like a little girl? You call Matt a big boy? <laughs> Come on, man. At Mesop 87, Link, I think Matt brought up Arthur C. Clarke and referenced to some potential types of evidence, not as a refutation specifically of the various philosophical arguments used by apologists. Also, it's my understanding that broadly he doesn't find any of the arguments he referenced compelling on completely different grounds. Okay, so this is actually kind okay. of well-written. This is a, this is a intelligent okay, this is not bad. response. Um, okay, okay, this is not bad. But let me ask you. Um, there's nothing to respond. There's nothing to respond to because he didn't say anything. Like he said things, and yeah, sure. He, he, he did. He did the Arthur C. Clarke That's like fine. quote. Uh, Technology sufficiently advanced enough is indistinguishable from magic. And he said, "How is because of that? How am I supposed to be convinced of God?" And I said, "Well, a lot of the arguments that we use." have nothing to do with have any kind of technology and yeah. actually have to do with creation itself and all these other things right so what what he finds compelling i don't care but he can't just use that quote for when he needs to get out of things and say oh it could have just been some kind of advanced technology well how did that even come into existence how did the creators of the of that technology even come into it like do you understand what we're Where saying did that take do you think that technology just randomly appears from a random portal out of nowhere? Click up. Oh, yeah, look, no. guys, I got this random laptop from a portal over in Niagara Falls. How cool is that? At a link, you can't exercise your free will to follow a being that you don't believe or are not convinced exists. Clickable toggle. But that's irrelevant. That's but completely what does irrelevant. Have to do with the argument? If he were to show you evidence, um, you probably would not follow him and so that would be a free will violation and you can exercise your free will to reject well, what it. what if Allah like, just knows you're gonna hand wave everything even if he shows it to you yeah because like that that actually the whole clark quote is a way to hand wave it because the other way these guys like to use it is to say well what if any evidence I encounter, like something supernatural happens to me, and it's just some kind of trickster alien. So, you're just gonna handle with everything. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, like, what, what, what like, this is actually something in the Quran, like, what, Allah found out, what if he knows that you're not gonna believe any, like, you're gonna hand wave every single thing that he. And you he just tells created you. a methodology like, that lets you hand wave it. Too. And even if you. And even if you didn't, you wouldn't even, like, that wouldn't even change what you do. So what the, what the hell would be the point? There's already a lot of evidence. Obviously, the Islamic point believes that there is, uh, the, the, the Quran is a miracle we can analyze. Uh, there is a lot of evidence in, in, in the natural world that we can appeal to, um, including fine-tuning, including, like, where did this logic come from? It ca cannot have come from nowhere. And, and other, like, arguments, like the contingency argument and mm -hmm. um, other, other arguments.
You know, my favorite thing is when they try to refute the transcendental argument, which is the argument from the fact that logic exists with logic. You know, that's, that's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Link, how do you know that the factors that determine our universe are changeable in the first place? Clickable toggle button, not press like this comment. What? Oh, this has something to do with fine tuning. Oh. Okay. So some of you guys actually were kind of smart and brought up some objections with fine tuning, which we'll address in some other video. We will address it. I know it's it's fine. We, we will we'll get to that. Um, so but I do want to say though, just for now, somebody said like, "Oh, what if the laws of nature just made this happen?" And I and my response would be, "Well, can you have laws without a lawgiver and a, a law, law enforcer maker. as well? Like, how how does how do you even account for those?" My question. How do you have a law without a lawmaker? Yeah. That's only why did you two recommend the, this? How did the laws... Blanche, sounds like you don't know Matt's history. Like when he was studying to become a pastor. Blanche, our arguments have nothing to do with technology. Blanche, yeah, he's not talking about your arguments. He's talking about what a god might try to do to convince him. How could he determine the difference between a god performing a miracle and an alien with technology far beyond his understanding tricking him? <laughs> did you see? Do you see what I was... Exactly. <laughs> That's my whole point. Oh my gosh. I was just talking about this and this pops up. <laughs> Look at that. Good with the only logical explanation is that there is a designer. Bland, the only logical explanation that you can think of. Good job finding a gap for your god to fit in. Bland. No. No. No, that's... it's not. Can you think do of you, one? Do you, do you want me to teach you something about logical laws and logic since you love it so much? There's a can principle think, called Occam's Razor, which one? says that the best explanation one? is the one that makes the least assumption. The design assumption is is the least out of all the other ones that you guys say. It's the best explanation. Wait, wait, Fernando, can, you, can you, because I, I want to know, can you think of a better one? Since he said the best logical explanation you can think of, can you think of a better one, a more logical one, that doesn't make... When fine-tuning is properly articulated and understood, no. No, there is no better explanation than the designer one. There just isn't. No, I'm talking to this atheist. I'm talking to this atheist guy. Can you think of a better one? Yeah, what's the better one? Natural. Say, oh, oh, what are you gonna say? Natural laws. No, try calling, nothing. Try calling into the line on Sunday. Turn into absolutely but, everything. At a link, bro, call in his show. Okay, people keep saying calling the show. At a link, since you're so confident, you should call the, the line when Matt's on and present your arguments. I have a feeling you're too scared. Clickable. Why would I be scared of a guy who freaking gets Since mad so at a couple, like, uh, quote-unquote transphobic words? Why would I be Bro, scared of him? His, his, all, you, all you have to do is say his husband is a man, and he's going to cry. He's going to be more scared of you. He's going to be so scared of you that he's not even going to want to approach you. He's going to okay? hang up on he's me not on the even line. That's crazy. Oh, Link, love the channel name, dude. Though if you're going for accuracy, I might suggest calling it Burden of Proof. Clickable. What? <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's a gas. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be some kind of like roast or not, be, but like, some dumb joke. But <laughs> okay. you know what? You're funny. I'll let you pass. Yeah. At a sandwich. Link wall. You can tell how much I. Okay. This is not, this is not an atheist. At the vintage link, all this I can is. say is ellipsis. Prove it. Prove that God exists. Please. Anything. Any shred of evidence you might have. Click up. So the problem okay, is, okay, is that okay. when we give oh, wait, wait, you no, guys no, that. No, no, stop! 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 Prove it to who? To you? How? What evidence do you want? What evidence will you accept? Because we have a lot, but you're gonna... What do you accept? You're gonna and... handle all of it. Yeah, oh, because that's what me. people have been doing in these aliens. replies, too. At Jardo Link, not the puddle argument, bro. Oh, aliens. Graph clickable. Uh, transcendental Two. aliens. Technology. At Diviance. Aliens. Link four days ago. It isn't a false dichotomy. Those are the only two possibilities. Either this god doesn't exist, or this god does not want me to believe, at this point at least. Because if it is, exists, it is. No, no. That is a false dichotomy. Who no. says because God won't no, show you no, he exists no. that he doesn't want you to exist? Intentionally choosing not to convince me even though it is capable of doing so and can do so. Without violating free will. No. <laughs> no. It can't, no, it can't. Blank, so it is a true dichotomy. You are wrong. Button collapse. No, it's not. At Kaling, I just wanted to point out the issues I personally see with the fine-tuning arguments since you. Okay, yeah, this guy's smart. This guy knows. 
guys. At least some yeah, things. Okay. So yeah, yeah. we will give that again a proper response in some other videos. And Link 117 having a third option would make it a false dichotomy since dichotomy means only two possible answers. Blank. Link 654 also a god isn't even a logical option, much less the only logical option. You have a lot of work to do before criticizing that. But work. How? And how is it? Okay, how fine. You don't like the word God, a designer. You don't like the word God, so you know what? Fine. The word God uh, is scary for him. You you He's don't like, but God. if I say a designer, will that be better for you? Will you feel better? What if I say that a designer is the most logical option? Um, don't say because, the C word. It's very offensive to me. <laughs> um, good job not being able to define the word false, the term false dichotomy. By the way. Let's blend. If I can show you that there's a third option and that those two are not the only two logical choices, then it is a false dichotomy. You just proved that that's what that is. Link word button pattern link. There are so many factors in this universe that if they were a tiny bit different, we wouldn't have existed. Therefore, God is absolutely a God of the gaps argument. The massive leap of faith is you. Think it's not a God thinking that the universe being the way it is means there has to be a God. Just it's not a God of the gaps argument doesn't make it not a God of the gaps argument. I can't tell if you're being dishonest or just having a huge blind spot here. But geez, buddy, come on, you can't honestly say the only logical conclusion is God. What about the fact that if one of those things were different life as we know IT may not have existed, but you can't conclude that no life could have existed. Button collapse, read more. Have a button expanded, show less. <sighs> Where to even to even begin with with that? So you don't like the word God. It's it's more. Uh, can I can I call you guys God phobic? Because you really really don't seem to to like that word, and you do really like those phobia words. So can I call you that? Because that's what you guys seem like you are. My conclusion is that if fine tuning is true. Which we will make arguments. Uh, we'll make arguments for that in different videos. But my conclusion is fine tuning is true, and that means that the most logical option is a designer. That isn't gaps. That's just arguing how you're supposed to argue with logic. That, that's all it is. I don't understand where you get this idea. I feel like we've already adequately responded to this. Uh, Link isn't here, God benevolent or something. If not believing him equals eternal punishment, wouldn't it be a moral imperative for God to try and convince you? Clickable, be a moral imperative for God to try and convince you? Wouldn't it be a moral imperative for God to try to convince you? Well, I mean... God can try all he wants, right? Like he can he can do whatever, but if it's not gonna work and he knows it, why bother? Literally, that's the whole argument. <laughs> At the link, I've been looking for a reason to believe, a foundation, one tiny little change, and we would all be gone. It's stupid. If a god put us here, would you put a loved one in a field that's filled with landmines in one little step and they are obliterated? No, that would be crazy as hell. I haven't. What? That's not what fine tuning even is. What? Bro. Once heard a powerful argument, yet another video from believers that said nothing. Button collapse. <laughs> oh my god. What gosh. does that have to do? That's not, that is like the co Wait, most it, complete misrepresentation of fine tuning that I've literally ever heard in my life. <laughs> wow. That's ridiculous. The whole thing is that the universe is tuned perfectly so that we can exist here, right? That doesn't mean he put us here and then built things. That, that just doesn't make any sense. And if we claim that, that you would say that's unscientific. Like, it's I, so I, I, weird. I read that comment. I read that comment and I didn't even understand his point with it. Because what does it have to do with anything? What is he trying to prove with that There's nothing. There's, there's says nothing. I think I'm going to do like a couple more and then we'll be, we'll be good. That's when you got on your own video. Lol. I got owned on my Clickable. own video. Two clickable toggle. <laughs> if you call these comments How? owning me, you're. How did I get owned on my own video, bro? Okay. Listen, bad. if you call these comments owning me, then I think you really need to Ooh. redefine what owning means. Fine tuning argument is so insanely dumb. Okay, this is all right. We're gonna we're gonna end it with this one because this 
It's just the pinnacle of like atheism, all right? Look. Fine tuning argument is so insanely dumb. If things were different, things would be okay. different. Yeah, no shit. Click up. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know bro the reply i literally replied to that and i'll go bro you need to do research on what bro what <laughs> this is like the that pinnacle the of it <laughs> you know how we said earlier that that minefield was the most ridiculous misrepresentation of fine tuning yeah. no i i take, I that, take that back this one this is <laughs> the most ridiculous misrepresentation of fine tuning <laughs> oh my I don't even know if I'm gonna bother to correct that here because <laughs> yeah, Jahan, what an idiot. <laughs> if things were different, this would well, duh, obviously, but we're arguing from the fact that things are the way they are, and the insane like this insane low, like extremely low chance uh, of life existing it's if they were if different. Things were Bro. different, things would be different. It's if things were different, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right, that's that, guys. Um, that's the kind of stuff we had to do, and we're not even right. near the half done. But this is just a sample yeah. size of what we had to deal with, the kinds of arguments we had. These were, this sums up accurately, like, all the things we got. Fine-tuning criticisms, criticisms of the God of the Gaps thing, which was false, and then, like, the free will stuff. There was some other stuff false, like, about free will. And then, like, a bunch of, like, so people like saying free will don't like, oh, exist or or you know it's painful tough. video and all these other things which yeah by the way message to any other atheist dilla hunty fan girl that wants to um put in the comments of this video if you do not have an argument and all you want to do is say oh this is this is so painful this is so terrible grow up you need to uh you have a serious interpretation problem or some stupid like that then, then I, I'm gonna need you to to um, ask for arguments. I'm gonna need you to give arguments. If you're not gonna give arguments, if you're gonna give arguments, I'll respond to you. If you're not, then then and keep it. Then keep quiet and keep it moving. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Keep it. Wow. What <laughs> an idiot. All right. Okay, guys. So that is what uh, we're well, 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 like, Start. Stop. Um, Hope you guys. I want to say first of all, lose your brain cells this was with hilarious. that. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah bro um i need to go and recover some brain cells uh by the way ramadan mubarak to all the brothers and sisters that are observing the fast muscle on the law except from us and this is how we have to respond to atheist non-arguments yeah. so if you guys some, if you guys like, watched that video and thought that these arguments. guys were like really intelligent had really good points you can now see that that is, is false um Hopefully, it didn't kill your brain cells in the process of realizing that, though. But either way... Yeah, bro, we got, that, we got owned on our video. That was all, all of the criticisms stop. that we, we got. Stop. That's what they all amounted to. We need so. to stop. We need to stop. We're done. Yeah, we're, we're done, done, guys. We're, just we're done, defeated. We're done. I'm depressed. All right, guys. Um, we're going to go cope. All right, guys. We're going to go cope about how we got defeated by... The horde of atheists. We need to go. We need to, Fernando. We, we we need to go with. We need to go and have a better help therapy session because <laughs> these atheist fangirls just destroyed us. We got we got wrecked, and we're gonna go cope about that now. Yep. Sorry yep. guys. Uh, Start, sorry stop. guys. It's kind of cool. We'll, we'll see you in the next one. If we, can even, if we can even repair our mental health to the point that we can make an another video. <laughs> Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's totally. We got to read. Take care, guys. Stop. Yeah.